Hey guys, welcome to my workflow video for how I'm making land masses for our game Contrail. Uh, so this game uh, relies on like floating um, masses of land that you'll be hopping between and flying between. Um, so it's important that these are each like a self-contained thing and you'll see when I get to the side, um, this needs to be a, a mesh that goes all the way down. So that means that I don't have access to the typical terrain modifier and terrain tools. So our idea for this game is that when you walk along a wall or a curved surface, uh, your gravity and perspective changes. Um, and one thing that we want to happen is that uh, we can have more natural environments, like larger natural environments. And when you walk along those, they shift as well. But this also means that we need to have trees that go up at an angle uh, with the mesh. You know, kind of like the buildings in an inception. So for example, in Unity, if we had access to normal terrain tools, we could just drop this in here. Um, and then we'd have an in-scene editor uh, where we can add and change the layout, add grass and trees. Um, now one important thing to note is that if I place trees, no matter what the angle of the mesh would be, they would be pointing um, straight up um, because that's how trees work in the real world. Um, and then the biggest issue for this terrain is that uh, this is a game where you'll be flying around, um, you'll be wanting to go below terrains, and since this is a plane, they would vanish. Um, so these have to be solid meshes, uh, and I need uh, more fine-tuned controls over like how I place my trees and that kind of stuff. So we have to do it in Blender. So I'm gonna start with a cube in Blender, um, subdivide it, we're gonna be doing uh, sculpting for this. So here I'm just trying to knock out the basic shape. If I had a better plan of where I was gonna go with this shape, I would probably get a lot closer uh, with the cube model first. Um, but at this point, I really hadn't done enough uh, level design with this, so I didn't really know what I wanted to go with it until I kind of just like felt it out. So here we are towards the end of it. You'll see that it kind of scoops up, and again, like that's gonna be the uh, floor that the character will just walk on all the way up, and I want the trees to go along it as if they were planted in it. So we're going to put a barn here for scale, because I do want buildings on this, but I need to scale them. Um, so this is going to be the size of our player controller. Once I get the barn set up how I like it, I'm going to start sculpting the terrain around it. Um, now typically you'd be able to do this in the editor, but um, because of this workflow it has to be like one entire object. So I can't afford to like change uh, where I want the barn to be later on, so I've really got to plan that ahead of time. I'm just gonna finish up some uh, some interest right here. Maybe it'll be like a waterfall or something. All right, I'm gonna add the textures. Um, I'm gonna start with my just generic cartoon dirt texture, uh, 3D tiled, so I can just click it everywhere and just go just go crazy. I'm gonna add some rock textures. Um, and then I'm also going to put some rock models along it so it doesn't look so flat. Um, but you still want the, kind of the same uh, texture below it. Alright, finishing up with the textures. Alright, now it's time for the grass. So I'm using uh, Blender's hair uh, particles to do this and I can just paint them on um, it's very close to how you would paint grass on with uh, a terrain editor. Uh, but again, this is locked in when I'm done, so I have to make sure I don't paint it where the floors will be for the buildings. Uh, I have to make sure I get like the right amount. Now I'm going to test the size of the grass. Um, it's important that I get the grass size right because um, if you get it too big, you look like you're um, like two inches tall. Um, so the only way to do that then would be to scale the entire land mass down, which would shrink it, and then the buildings won't fit. So uh, I have to get that exactly right. All right, time for the trees. I'm going to do another hair particle. All right, they're pretty tiny. Let's uh, scale those boys up. All 
All right, now they're all facing the same direction, which will look awful. So I'm just gonna select random ones and then rotate them along their individual Y axes. That's what all that green mess is. And now you can see here, uh, they've all been switched back and they're kind of in random directions. All right, well I've added some more trees. Um, and then I deleted the houses because I'll be adding those in later from the Unity prefabs. All right, time to export the model. All right, I brought it into Unity, and uh, I've applied the materials that I have from other scenes. I've got to scale it up correctly. And put the models back where they were last time. All right, so I just gotta finish placing the barn. Um, one thing that is a pain is trying to figure out um, exactly where you had it last time. And like once I've, once I've sculpted it for the barn, it, it really only fits in one location. Uh, but here's the final product. I mean, you know, semi-final obviously, but um, you can see the trees go up the hill as we wanted. Um, the grass does as well. Um, I need to add some more uh, variation to the trees. I'm seeing a couple that are too small, so I need to make sure that I don't have the scale randomness as high. So this is this is still a bare area, you know. Um, I'll be adding some more assets, uh, maybe like in that rock area. I think I want like a, a particle waterfall. Um, you know, just, just some things to make it feel like more of a lived-in world than, you know, kind of a, this kind of barren-looking uh, grassy area. So that concludes my workflow for creating these terrain assets at the time. You know, this is subject to change, especially as we add new things to the game. I expect that we'll need different things. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was an interesting workflow. So um, thanks for watching.